Hi, this is Dr. Raj Kumar. I'm a medical oncologist and a molecular oncologist, currently working as Director of Research Oncology in MedGenome, Bangalore. I was earlier in Cancer Institute, ADR, as a professor and head of the Department of Molecular Oncology. The topic we are going to be talking, discussing now is on prostate cancer genetics, breaking down the myths and misconceptions. Now, as a clinician and when I was running my hereditary cancer clinic, I had a large number of patients come to us and they asked me the following questions. First is, doctor, I have a sister who has breast cancer, another sister has ovarian cancer and they have said that there is a mutation in this gene called as BRCA2 and will I positively develop prostate cancer because someone mentioned that there is an increased risk for prostate cancer. Now, the answer is you don't need to immediately worry about it. The, why am I saying that? In As far as prostate cancer goes, the risk is 20 to 40 out of 100. Meaning, if there are 100 men with the same disease-causing mutation, only 20 or 40 to 40 of them will develop the disease. So conversely, 60 to 80 of them may not develop the disease during their lifetime. So you can modulate that risk quite well. The risk factors for prostate cancer include smoking, alcohol, uh, excess consumption of red meat, and failure to have, and if you have, if your intake of vegetables, fruits, and exercise is maintained, you can actually reduce that risk further. So this is number one. Number two is, I have a stage four disease, meaning I have the disease spread to bones and other tissues. So am I going to die far soon? Now again, as far as prostate cancer goes, there are several therapeutic options. The most important one is hormonal manipulation, where we can blockade the critical hormone testosterone and its derivative dihydrotestosterone from functioning by reducing their levels and by preventing them from binding to its receptor. Thereby, we can control the disease and this control can last anything from one year to three years or even five years. And if, if at some time there is a recurrence, you can always have newer drugs which are there, which can again be given and then you can go on to later on to chemotherapy. So uh, uh, stage four disease is not a death sentence as far as prostate cancer goes. So you don't need to get worried. Now, what about my children? I seem to have this BRCA2 mutation. So what is the risk to my children? Now the risk, will they all develop cancer? Again, as I mentioned, for you to pass on the gene to your children, there is only 50% chance because normally for every gene, we have two copies. So one may, in your instance, one may be the faulty copy, the other one is the normal one. So still they could receive the normal. So there is only 50% chance. And as I said, this is not an absolute risk, meaning that merely having the uh, mutation doesn't mean that they will develop the risk. There are ways to uh, do uh, reduce your risk, reduce their risk, as well as also for early detection. So you don't need to worry about that.